Morning, it's, uh, it's the first morning of the Annapolis Boat Show and because there are a few of you that couldn't be here and we're sorry that you can't be here, we thought we'd show you our day. So this episode is uh, a break from the norm, it's a break from what we normally do and it's just a filler episode. So this is our apartment. A few things that you want to see, obviously apart from my smiling face, there is uh, Therese there who is finishing a granola. Um, but also these amazing people are squatting with us. <laughs> so uh, you may recognize this uh, beautiful blonde surfer. And uh, also this beautiful blonde surfer <laughs> with his six pack, which we are, uh, I, I taught him everything, any news? <laughs> I tried to get him to go for a run this morning, but. Yeah, there's, there's no running, there's no running. Uh, except for you running through my mind. So anyway, that, that is our morning. Uh, we are off to the show. We've got lots to see, lots to show you. And we're just gonna show you what our day is. It's always a bit crazy at the Annapolis Boat Show uh, and it's our favorite boat show. So um, without further ado, this is our day. So why is it that we go to the Annapolis Boat Show? Why is it that we leave our little boat somewhere remote, fly halfway across the globe to spend five days in a small Maryland town? Well, for those of you that don't know, the Annapolis Boat Show is the largest boat show in the contiguous Americas and a fantastic place to see what the marine industry has to offer, as well as catch up with our friends, our followers, our fans, have a couple of beers, sit down, have a good chat with people, take in the beauty of Annapolis and finally relax away from the boat for a bit. So this is the highlights from our week. So yeah, jet lag aside, it yeah. is um, boat show time. Yeah. So we have, first things first, press breakfast. Not quite sure what press breakfast is, but um, it includes breakfast. it's breakfast. And so that the, the <laughs> second word in that, in that statement was the most important one, right? Yeah. Press breakfast. All right, so press breakfast it is, and then we'll get on with How the show. How many times can you say press breakfast? Twice more. <laughs> You start. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had coffee out of a box before. There you go. Done. Coffee? It smells really strong, actually. We'll also be at the block party downtown tonight and at the boat show bash. And so in previous years, while I had been happy to go to the pub and see a few boats, this year we have a few things to do. First thing, catamaran reviews. The Exquisite X5. So this is the Neisner 500 SE. Balance 526. This is the beautiful boat. This is the Antares 44. This is the Sea Wind 12. And aside from meeting hundreds of amazing fans, thanks to the maple syrup guys, we had also been asked to speak at the Annapolis Boat Show. And what the Boat Show didn't realize is that with Delos as our warm-up act, this was going to be a packed seminar. Easy. Did you see the queue? I, yeah, the yeah, the I queue is like 200 meters long. I didn't realize how. I need to get some water. Now. So, do you know what my first sentence is going to be? What? <laughs> Pull out my cigarette and sit there going, So, Billy, tell us about the canals. <laughs> so, we're running about 20 minutes late on our seminar at the about moment. Half an hour they finish. Yeah. yeah it's 20 minutes at the moment. And I don't think that um, Brian is done yet. I'm just going to hurry up. <laughs> I'm waiting for Brian and then we will be able to go in and start our seminar hopefully and uh, I don't know how long the line is now. The last I heard it was like all the way around to the elevators which I don't even know how many people it is. It must be like a couple of hundred people at least. So I hope that everyone can get it. That's not just coke is it? It is, it's just coke. <laughs> Pure unadulterated coke zero. Alrighty. Thank you everyone for your patience. I'm really sorry that things are running a bit behind today. And we've really so thanks to everyone who showed up to listen to our talk. If anyone is interested in the full talk, put a comment down below and we will post a link to an hour of discussion about the French canals. Aside from that, we're sorry you had to wait so long. It was crazy that day. It wasn't helped by the fact that Brian from Delos gave the talk before us and he was even more packed out. So on to the next thing. In the mornings, the winds are generally lighter in the mornings. You can motor in the mornings and then duck in in the afternoon. Yeah. 
one thing we do take a huge amount of pleasure from at boat shows is interacting with other cruisers and sharing information with you all. So this Q&A hosted by the amazing Sarah from Hydrovane and with Brian and Brady from Delos and Bean and Jamie from Sailing Totem and us as well as Andy and Mia from 59 North we are able to chat and talk to you and hopefully inspire you to get on the water. What a fantastic evening. So another day. What are you doing, Skip? So uh, off to the boat show with our roomies. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, this is when we've got energy. We had a big late night last night. Billy yeah. was out partying till God knows when. He climbed into the wrong bed at one point and we had to say, no, 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 you're with Sierra next door. <laughs> <laughs> Nick didn't want to cuddle. <laughs> Again. All right, so here we are, the Annapolis Boat Show for the third day in a row, and it has been so crazy busy. It has been mental. And it's before opening hours at the moment. Uh, we've managed to sneak in, and we are going to review um, another boat. We have to do it at the moment, like before the show opens, because it's just too busy to review them when there's people on board. So we're off to review the sea wind this morning and it's another beautiful day and it's going to be so cool today. I think today's going to be the busiest day yet and they have said that their number of uh, attendees at the boat show is actually double what they had predicted already. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, we are feeling pretty good. Um, it's, you know, busy and crazy and there's lots of people here and the weather is fantastic. We're looking at loads of boats. How are you feeling, Nick? Oh, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah, powering through, I think. It's, yeah, it's someone gave me a five hour energy drink, so when that kicks in. Hey, so doing? what made it such an amazing show for us? You guys, you are all so fantastic, friendly and welcoming. From saying hello to us on pontoons to catching up with us at our numerous patron meetups, you are all so amazing. You better answer, you better answer. Oh, Ruby <laughs> you can leave like a voice message. Yeah. Are you married? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Hold on. I guess no, like no. I said, he's, he's What's your dad's name? Jerry. Start your video machine. <laughs> Start your fancy video machine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We enjoy watching your videos, Thank too. You. So we... Oh. Oh, I'll make the video. You are just so nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, video. Face thing uh. with Jake. Oh, my goodness. So, this is a message for Jerry. So, listen, <laughs> I know you've got this amazing son-in-law, but guess what? Oh. <laughs> Things are going to change a little bit, and from now on, you're going to call me son. Yeah, I've got something to say about that, oh then, you know. <laughs> anyway, listen, I hope you're having an amazing time. Your daughter is super awesome, and your son-in-law is super awesome, and whoever this... Daughter's best friend. <laughs> I cannot believe you didn't answer. <laughs> yeah, so we tried calling you, but hey, obviously you're busy in Hawaii just surfing and drinking tequila. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, listen, have an awesome show, and we'll catch up with you at some point in the world. So have a nice night. And it was amazing to be roommates with Billy and Sierra of Tula's Endless Summer. There is nothing better than explaining the cultural differences between our two countries over a cup of Bovril. Okay, not only did we learn about how to properly cut butter, but apparently you can drink beef in their <laughs> neck of the woods, so... Nick and Teresa got this stuff, Bovril. Bovril, 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 bye. What it was. <laughs> And Nick, maybe. I um, guess it's, 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 maybe. it's just a warm, just, it's, it's normally so hot, that's just like warm so you can like not burn yourself. Ooh. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> Does it feel like you're eat, drinking soup? It feel, it just tastes like I'm drinking soup. It tastes like soup. It's beef. It's just beef, it's beef drink. <laughs> it's beef. It's mm. beef drink. You it's like pretty that? good. Yeah, I do like well, it. Well, there you go. You have some. On, you passage, have when you're, <laughs> on passage when you're cold, it is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. All right, Sierra, your toke. Here, give me a good... Like, touch like if you come, out of a, you, know, come out of the surf and you're cold, lovely beefy drink. Oh, I'll tell, let you know when we're back in cold weather. It's soup. <laughs> it's bovril. <laughs> How do you say it? Bovril. Bovril. Not bovril. Say it one more time. Bovril. 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 Russian. But hey, you make the success of the bifting. <laughs> This is how we're filling our time here <laughs> in our apartment that we're sharing. It's all lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Stocked up on my soup. <laughs> Don't mind yourself. I can't yourself. understand it. <laughs> and with our time in Annapolis almost over, there was just one final thing to do. 
we were lucky enough to be invited to go sailing with a couple of fantastic people and we understand why if you live in the Chesapeake Bay area you will find it so very difficult to leave it is stunning so thank you to each and every one of you who made our boat show so very special we will be back next year and are planning some amazing things already so there you go uh four days at the annapolis boat show that was crazy no yeah it was absolutely absolutely mental. insane so a little rich insane but we loved it right so a couple of big really couple of thank yous uh firstly to um let's just thank jeff and cameron first they put us up yeah we can't not thank them they were absolute lifesavers i was sporting a stinking cold for the whole show so thanks to jeff and cameron um big thanks to billy and sierra they we've known them for a couple of years they are such awesome lovely people and if you don't already know them check out their channel we're going to put a link there uh, they are pretty awesome wholesome wholesome far more wholesome than wholesome me and awesome. wholesome and awesome that should be their channel tag um yeah so uh who else and just to everyone else to all the creators all the patrons that kind of had meetups came to our meetups had their own meetups without us you know who you are um yeah pretty awesome so now we are off to london again to carry up a little bit more adventure um so yeah awesome show uh we have seven boats in review we have just so much to do so much to do so um thank you all for watching this is just something slightly different we will be back next week as always with our continuing adventures on a sailboat